Over the past year or so, Bradley Martin has become an internet meme for how much he backs himself in a street fight. But even even in a street fight, I'd like, beat the, the f out of you in a street no, fight. No, I would I would kill you, bro. Yeah, I, I would kill you. I would kill you, bro. God, I love it. The whole thing about Bradley being 260 pounds is a running joke because he brings it up almost any chance he gets. Damn, I'm 260, bro. Unless you're 260, about 260 right now. Yeah, but I'm 260. Yeah. There are numerous clips of him wrestling other, much smaller influencers, and to no surprise, he ends up winning. However, coming out on top against an influencer and coming out on top against a trained fighter are two very different things. During 2023, anytime Brad had a boxer or mixed martial artist on his podcast, he posed the question of who would win if they had a street fight. The guys he asked were always much smaller than him, so his argument on how he'd beat them always hinged upon his weight advantage. He'd insist that if he got a hold of them, then it would all be over. But everyone responded saying he'd have no chance. People think that like muscles like mean something. Muscles don't mean nothing like strangling while you're just like, how did he get here? You think you beat me in a street fight? You in a street fight? Yeah. You're a, con you're a podcaster, brother. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. So the answer is then yes, yeah? Of course. The delusion of believing you'd beat Nate Diaz in a street fight is absolutely wild. It's like everyone understands something Bradley doesn't, and you know it's bad when even Sneeko is talking sense into you. You're gonna try to come and run in, body shot here, body shot to the chin, he's accurate, he knows where to hit. You're gonna expose yourself and then a couple punches. I think you're really over estimating your chin. I know because you're a big guy, you're 260, your chin is not 260. There's no bench press for your chin. Before we go on to one of Brad's worst ever takes, I'd like to thank MyBookie for sponsoring today's video. MyBookie is your one-stop shop for all things sports betting. Whether you're interested in basketball, tennis, golf, or anything in between, you'll find what you're looking for at MyBookie. I watch a lot of combat sports and I love spicing things up for big fights by putting my money where my mouth is. With Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois on this weekend, Ilya Teporia versus Max Holloway happening next month, and Jake Paul and Mike Tyson throwing down in November, there's no shortage of exciting fights to bet on. If instead, something like American football is more your style, this is the perfect time to get involved because this year's college football season is fully underway. MyBookie offers an opportunity to win on every catch, sack and touchdown, so you definitely don't want to miss out. To celebrate their 10th anniversary, MyBookie is offering a bonus of up to $1,000 on your first deposit. They'll match 100% of whatever you put in and they'll even throw a $10 casino chip in there. To claim, all you have to do is follow the link in the description of this video and use the promo code TELLUSMORE. It's that easy, so make sure to kick things off, funded by the house. Probably one of the worst things Brad has said is that he could be MMA legend Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Now Mighty Mouse is a small man who competed at 125 pounds, less than half Brad's body weight. But Demetrius is a black belt in BJJ and one of the greatest to ever do it. I mean, here's him submitting a 250 pound BJJ brown belt. Yes, Still, Bradley just couldn't wrap his mind around how he could lose to such a small man. With the guys like that, they're gonna get to your ankles so fast, you're not gonna have time to pick them up. And then they also, all they do is deal with big guys, so they know how to put you in a position where you don't have leverage to but pick them up. 125 pounds though? That's so Demetrius, light. I know. I can dude. lift that up with one hand. I know. I'm, I'm telling you, he's gonna get your back. He's gonna get your neck. He's gonna get your ankles. Dude, because you just lay on top of a 125 pound guy. I can't. Mm, what, really? Not, not, not the elite guys. Dude, I want to find that mother. I want to find this guy you're talking about. DJ. I want to just lay on top of him. What Bradley wasn't respecting here is just how important technique is in grappling. Of course, weight plays a role, but if you don't know what you're doing, a skilled opponent will use that weight against you, no problem. Besides, day to day, Mighty Mouse actually walks around at more like 150 pounds than one two. Five. Bradley Martin has no chance. This is, is there a time limit? There is not a time limit. Then he has sir. no chance. Is that right? Zero chance. He's gonna get his back taken. And he's gonna oh, he's one hundred percent gonna get choked out. If they just do a jujitsu jiu match, jiu Mighty Mouse is gonna get him. He's gonna get tired. He's gonna get him. Yeah. He's gonna get tired. Yeah. He's not gonna know the positions. Yeah. He's gonna get trapped. Just that's what jujitsu is. Yeah. That's what grappling is on that level. You'd think Bradley would be more humble given he actually has some prior experience rolling. A few years ago, he posted this video to his YouTube channel where he got ragdolled during a practice at a gym in Tarzana. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got my head bad. You good? Yeah, hold on. <sighs> I got rocked. You got it. That was like a good punch. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good punch. <sighs> Ah. <laughs> 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 
Since that point, he's been going at it with a bunch of influencers, which has caused him to overestimate his abilities. He went crazy on Bryce Hall, continuing even after Bryce could no longer fight back. He attacked Vitaly after he tried acting like a tough guy, and he violently slammed Steve Will Do It into the ground during one of their many confrontations. Oh, oh. Oh. Now, arguably the worst instance of Brad picking a fight with a smaller guy happened following a podcast he did with Brendan Schaub and Brian Callen. Brian, who was 54 years old at the time, tried warning Brad not to pick a fight with Dylan Dennis, who was a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I promise you, you're gonna get choked out. After the podcast, Brad and Brian ended up having a tussle, and this is what happened. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Get that together. Watch my neck. Sorry. Watch my neck. But see, do you see how you got flipped at least with an idiot like me? I know. I was trying not to do the door. You know what I mean? Like, I was trying not to do Yeah. So first off, Brian tells Brad that his neck is injured and Brad responds saying he won't grab it. But then that's the first thing he does. Then the 150 pound Callan manages to flip him over. After which Brad puts even more force on his neck. Of course he ended up winning, but him telling Brian he's lucky he wasn't going hard on him showed just how much he cares about looking like the big man. And if that doesn't scream insecurity, I don't know what does. What's also interesting to point out is that he fought the one guy in the room who isn't a fighter, not to mention the age gap. Sad, if he's struggling like that with Callan, how does he expect to be any pro MMA guy? What's worse is that you can tell he was going way harder than Brian. Like Callan was just joshing around, but you can tell Bradley was really trying. The problem is for a guy like Brad, he's no doubt been shown a lot of respect from other men throughout his life purely due to his size. That's why a lot of times he plays a tough guy and tries to intimidate people because it's always worked. Often though, he jumps to being aggressive and threatening out of nowhere when he could easily just handle things peacefully and it just makes him seem like he has something to prove. Are Someone sure? told me here. All right, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, listen, no, no, listen. no. Don't run. Don't hold run. Hold on, listen. Now listen. we go. Well, now we get the view. Hold on, listen. Listen what Bradley Yo, just hey, said. Hey, go ahead. Fuck go. up. Listen to what I'm saying. Why are you getting mad? Cause I'm talking to you right now. Listen. Who Every day notes? I get a notification. Bradley Martin Raw Talk. Steiny, something about this. Steiny, Steiny, Steiny. Zoo culture thumbnail. I don't even know where we're filming. And I feel used, and I'm, I'm fucking. Really, I'm bro? You want to talk about this right now? Want to yeah. talk about how you got your fr start, bitch? Why don't you tell the internet right now? Go ahead, tell you, him, dude. Go ahead, tell dude. him, dude. Tell okay. him, okay, tell wait. him. Okay, fine, I will. Tell him when you had 1,300 followers who put you in their fucking videos, Amish bitch. Outfits, no, but tell him. Okay, but tell wait, him. Brad, Brad. It's gonna cut to Steiny. Go ahead, you'll come hard at me. Do not expect that right back. Tell him how you got started, bitch. Okay, but control. Go ahead, tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. Look in the camera. Tell him the truth. With all the clips popping up of Brad either wrestling people or talking a big talk, people started to realize it's not confidence he's showing, but insecurity. Even when he's just messing around with friends, he always goes overboard. It's like he doesn't know how to hold back, and because of this, sometimes people get hurt. Late last year, he had a spar with Sneeko in his gym, and sadly for Sneeko, it ended really badly for him. Sneeko made the poor decision of not wearing a head or a mouth guard, and Brad spent the entire spar throwing shots directly at his face. After Brad knocked Sneeko down, they continued for a bit longer, but it wasn't long before Sneeko realized Brad had chipped his tooth. Bro, you chipped my tooth, Brad. Oh, really? Yeah. I spit it out, good fight. And as if it wasn't bad enough, Brad also cut him on his eyebrow. After this happened, Sneeko called Brad out for always taking things too far, and Brad's response showed once again just how self conscious he is about how people view him. Post fight interview, Brad. Okay. Well, sit down for sit down. Do you know what sparring means, Brad? Bro, okay, let me explain this shit. I did not go hard on you. 
What? Bro, I did not That's go hard. That's cap. I did not go hard. You were trying to, okay. I saw in your face. Run back to, 90%, run back to He was trying, what no, he, he okay. was throwing we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, Before you came, what did I tell you? You were on the phone, I said. You I said, are you sure, are you sure? I don't think it's a good but idea. But do you know what sparring means? Yes. <laughs> but do you realize that if you put me on camera, what's gonna happen? We spar, we're fucking around, what's gonna happen? What is everyone waiting to say? Anything they can, right? Oh, so you're putting your whole reputation no, on the I line. Wasn't putting, wasn't anything on the line, but I'm saying like- You were no game matter. seven fucking wailing. Not, bro, if I'm game seven, I would- Steve, my tooth is chipped. I would knock you- I was also on the game. If I was game seven, I would kill you. Oh yeah? Uh, you would die. Oh you yeah. gloves on right now? Bro. bro. I'll beat the fuck out of you, game bro, seven. Bro, what, what are you now? doing, Brad? You're a hundred pounds more than but me. That's the point, that's the point. On the, the reality is this. There's no- Are you not gonna press- You're just looking at me, bro? You said you're gonna press him. No, he can't Bro, he's in front of me, it's like a little scared. Let me offend. It looks like you're trying your ass off. Really? I don't blame you, though. That's your, like, you know, it's your whole image. You're a bodybuilder. That's crazy, dude. You weren't trying? You wanna go out there and really try? Bro. Bro. I mean, I think you do have to prove a point, so I think you should. No, no. You wanna really try? Oh, he's mad. Now I gotta do what I can. Bro, how is he gonna do that? Wait, I position. Huh? The reason why it's stupid is because, like, I your weight, I shouldn't even be doing that. You're 100 pounds more than me. shouldn't be doing that. So why but are you saying it again? Because you're trying to make it seem like I went hard on you. And I'll show you what hard is, because that wasn't hard. Bro. That wasn't hard, bro. I told you before going into that, we shouldn't do it. I told you it was not a good idea. You, you looked at me like a coyote looking at a chicken. Bro, I'm looking, bro. <laughs> no, okay. that's just because I went back backwards, that's it. Everybody saw the look in his eyes, right? I, I saw it. I Bryce saw. Hall said the same thing. You wrestled him, and he's like 160, and you're fucking choking him out and shit like that. Like, what? Bro, th this is a repeated pattern that you have. Sneaker exposed Brad here because it is a pattern. No matter which way you look at it, someone beating down on a guy 100 pounds lighter than him isn't a good look. And if Brad hadn't gone so hard, people would respect him more. But that's not the way he sees it. Brad's most recent victim was Stable Ronaldo, a pro esports player and Twitch streamer. Stable Ronaldo came to Brad's gym to film some content, but during their workout, he made a stupid move by swiping Brad's hat. Damn, actually. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, I didn't know that was bad. My bad, bro. Like, actually. Obviously, Stable Ronaldo shouldn't have done this because it was really disrespectful, especially since Brad had welcomed him into his gym. He probably knew how self-conscious Brad is about his hair, which makes it worse. But even still, there's a hundred different ways Brad could have dealt with the situation other than slapping the kid in the face. We all know if Stable Ronaldo was a bigger guy, there's no way in hell he would have done that. There have been multiple examples lately of how things actually go for Brad when he comes up against guys his size or guys with experience. And unsurprisingly, it doesn't go well. One time, a 160 60 pound wrestler came to his gym and publicly challenged him to a fight. I know, but how much you weigh? I'm 160 pounds. Take me down 100 dollars. 2500. I'll put money on it. 260, bro. 260. You want Brad? Come on, Brad. Brad tried catching the guy by surprise and he still lost, which was pretty embarrassing. But it's not quite as bad as what happened when he wrestled an ex-security guard. Let's walk down to this, what's going on? Swimming! Not Bradley, let me tell you. As you can see, this guy was nearly the same size as Brad, and he not only forced him to tap, but he removed his cap, exposing his hair. We know just how much Brad hates that, so he can't have been happy. Possibly worse than both these encounters though, was the one with Logan Paul. Brad had been talking shit about Logan's brother Jake, saying that he wants to see him get knocked out in his fight against Nate Diaz, and Logan didn't take that well. I don't have problems with him. I just like, I just want to see him like, lose, lose. Yeah. Cause he lost Tommy Fury, but he didn't lose in like a way where, yeah. cause honestly, if he gets knocked out, it's just gonna be so, it's just gonna be such a meme that I just wanna see that. And maybe that's kind of fucked up, but that's just the truth. I gotta so, say something about Bradley. Yep. I think you're getting lame. I think you're getting lame as a person or a person who's either searching for clicks. <laughs> Stay out those beefs. He had Nate Diaz, who mm -hmm. my brother's yeah, fighting yeah, on August 5th yeah, on his podcast. Yeah. 
And like in the same sentence, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm cool with Jake. I like Jake. You know, I just hope you beat his ass. I just want to see him get his ass beat. I want to see him get turned into a meme. Why, Bradley? Are you searching for clicks? Following this, Brad called out Logan on Twitter, saying that he wants to fight him outside his gym, and Logan accepted. Do you think that you could beat Logan in an MMA fight? Yes. You actually believe that? Mm -hmm. It's a wonder Brad was this confident because Logan isn't too much smaller than him and he has plenty of wrestling and boxing experience. Brad, it's me. What's up, man? Jake Paul. <laughs> I'm calling in regards to your tweet on July 27th, yeah. where you said, and speaking about clicks and views, fuck all that, come to my gym, no cameras, no content, we can just fight in front of zoo culture. Yeah. So tomorrow, I'm gonna come by and we can do this once and for all. Okay. That sound good? Yeah. We'll just do do the street thing. Do you want to grapple? Do you want to do MMA, MMA fight? You want to box? Well, I thought we were just talking about fighting in the street. That's cool too. A oh, street California. That's street. that's totally that's totally cool too. A Cali a good old ca fashioned California street bro. Logan followed through and showed up to Brad's gym a day later to have the fight. How are you feeling? Good, good, bro. Are you ready? All right, we got waivers. Yeah. yeah. So we're, or we're not, so we're doing that? My, my thesis is you have cameras everywhere in this gym. Yeah, but I, I agree to not post anything. It just doesn't say that. Make it say that. I'm down for whatever you want to do like that. But you don't want to film it. I didn't want to film it. No. But you also wanted to fight in front of the zoo culture. I said no cameras, no content. In front of zoo culture. Yeah, no cameras, no content. This is specific to <coughs> that. So, so if we're going by the tweet, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going by, no cameras. Let's pop. No cameras, no content. We'll stop. We'll pop out front. Like in the tweet. Okay. When I said it, I didn't think it was like some malicious bad thing. But that's my family, bro. And, yeah. and, and, and yes, I haven't always been the best brother ever, right? But I yeah. think that's part of me being a big brother. I fuck up and I'm working on all of that. I respect it. But like, you know, I have to stick up for Jake when I can. I get it. Even if I don't always do it myself. But again, I'm working on all that shit. Yeah. I respect you. Hope you know that. Thank you. I respect you too, bro. For real. This yeah. is cool. I like the new location. Thank you. Let's fucking let's fucking do it. Alright, so let's head. <laughs> so we can do it. Let's go. Let's go. 260, bro. Cameras down? Yeah. Sadly, they didn't film it, so we don't have any footage to look at. But from everything we've seen since, it's clear Logan dealt with Brad easily. Let's see. Check this shit. Good stuff. Bro. Well, <laughs> thanks for letting that happen. I'm proud of you, thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks for doing it, bro. You run your mouth about me, I run my mouth about you. Yeah. And like now at least, oh, by the way, that was fucking nothing, Brad, I'll be honest. Yeah. There's levels to this shit. The look on both their faces after the fight says it all. You can clearly see Brad took some damage to the back of the head, while Logan looked pretty much unscathed. Brad's ego definitely took a big hit here, given how much smack he was talking leading up to the fight. And his reaction when he was recently asked about it by Neon shows it's still raw for him. I didn't ask you about this. Didn't you wrestle Logan Paul? We didn't wrestle. <laughs> that was a real fight? Yeah. Who won? Yo, you walked away? I think you lost. <laughs> you lost. At this point, Brad is nothing short of a meme because he just can't accept that he's not as tough as he thinks he is. Some people argue that this whole 260 pounds I'll take you in a street fight persona is just for clicks. And there's no arguing it's brought him a lot of views and attention. But it's pretty clear from everything we've seen that it's more than that. Brad has this need for people to take him seriously and respect him, which I'd say is part ego and part insecurity. And although this will probably get him into more sticky situations in the future, it's the reason we have all this hilarious content.